The Nobel Peace Prize winner has since said on social media that he often teases people in an innocent and playful way, but he regrets the incident and sorry for the hurt it may have caused. Uh, joining me now is CEO of Freedom From Abuse, Marilyn Hawes. Marilyn, thank you very, very much. What do you make of this? <laughs> well, when your researcher first phoned me, I thought, you know, she lost the plot. If you've been working there too hard or something, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And I literally had to immediately go online because I've been like, you know, Easter weekend. I've just been busy doing other stuff, the stuff that, you know. And I thought I could not believe it when I watched it. And I thought, well... Has he lost the plot? Has has he got Alzheimer's or something because of his age? Has he got some mental illness? But it is outrageous, absolutely outrageous. So you could say, is he a sexual pervert? Because saying this is playful, well, not really. I mean, the, the lad, yes, just innocent. Oh, can I have a hug? He's someone famous. But to extend that into someone suck my tongue is absolutely... I mean, honestly, I want to vomit. I think it's disgusting. But, you know, did he... Is he like this anyway? Has he become like this? The poor person, I feel so sorry for the boy because although his face has been blurred out, he's very identifiable by everybody else in that audience, isn't he? Mm. And I'm sure the lad must be traumatised. That's the point. I mean, well, it's also because just... I mean, it's also a religious leader. It's not just like a person of authority or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, I was trying to put myself in the position of that lad and thinking, what would I have done if? Someone like a holy man says that to you. I think maybe I would have done it if I was that age. Do you think? I do you think, think I'd have been tempted to have bit his tongue, quite honestly. And say, yeah, there you go. Get on with that, mate. Well, now I that mean, would I have just, been a new story. <laughs> really? I mean, what do you do? The, the Dalai Lama is there. You just simply said, "Can I have a hug?" Because you're you're young and oh, you know, he's famous. And I can mm. say one day, "Oh, I hug the Dalai Lama." But to take it to how that guy has taken it, I mean, mm. it's it. You could honestly say, does he feel entitled and hiding behind his title? And is it religious abuse? I mean, the world I work in, that to me sends massive red flags flying, completely mm. inappropriate in plain sight. Yeah, 100%. If that was like a head teacher or if that was, frankly, anyone, really, we would now be saying, just very quickly, Marilyn, do you think we should cancel the Dalai Lama? Well, I think so. If you do something like that, I mean, it, an apology. You, oh, I'm, I'm apolo Oh, I'm so sorry. No, apology doesn't cut it. It was absolutely inappropriate, outrageous, disgusting. I can't find enough words. What, he mm. shouldn't maintain that post. He should be moved, removed from office. You, no. Real spiritual people do not carry on like that. With seemingly, I mean, is there a religion right. now that's safe?